too many times as Christians, I've realized that we've come in to faith in our, in our Lord, in God, in Jesus, um, with the wrong motive. And we come to Him in a sense like He's going to be our genie in a bottle where He will grant us our wishes, our desires, and make our dreams come true. He's here to serve us. And that is completely opposite to what Christianity uh, is and to what God called us to himself for. It's not for him to fulfill our dreams. It's for us to fulfill his dreams. One of those dreams, though, is you, is us, is for you to have a relationship with him and to know him. But once you do, then he wants you to be part of fulfilling his dream, which is to tell the rest of the people around your world at your work, at your school, wherever you're going to be, about Him so they can enter into a relationship with Him, so they can get to know Him, so they can be saved, so they can be cleansed from sin. This is His dream and He calls us to Himself so we can then serve Him, so we can fulfill His dream like I said before. Jesus says it like this, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. It is His desire, His love was the world. So He gave His only begotten Son so people could believe in him and have eternal life this is his whole desire another place i think it's to peter he says god desires for none to perish but for all to come to repentance so again his desire his heart his dream is that no one would perish no one would go to hell but that they will all come to repentance in other words to turn away from their way of living and the wrong way of living and to actually turn their face to him and follow him and have a relationship with him Jesus also says this in the Bible, Whoever wants to come after me must first deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Notice, it's not about you. It's not about me. If we deny ourselves, that self that wants to be selfish and wants to live for ourselves and our own kingdom, and we deny that, take up our cross, what did happen on the cross? People died on the cross. And we follow him. We die of ourselves and our own desires when he contradicts his And we follow him. Also, he continues to say, whoever will try to save their life will lose it. And whoever will lose their life for his sake and the gospels will find it. Again, notice, saving your life means keeping your dream, your will, your way, your desires, your wishes. And you want to hold on to that instead. Whoever will try to save their life will lose it. Whoever will lose their life for his sake and the gospels, again, the dream, they will find it. And then he continues to say, what will it profit you if you gain the whole world? So if you go and live your life and you gain the whole world, you build your kingdom, you get all your dreams come true, everything, all your wishes are granted. You gain the whole world, but lose your own soul. What would you give in exchange for your soul? In other words, to get it back after you lose it. There's nothing you can give for that. It's done. Again, it's talking about motive. The reason we as Christians come to the Lord is not so He can grant us our wishes and fulfill our dreams and desires, but it's for us to fulfill His. Now, in the process of that, does He fulfill dreams and desires? Yes, many times when we align ourselves up with our motive being to fulfill His will, His kingdom, His glory, to make it known, to make Him known to people. Yes, in the Bible it says it like this. Jesus says, If you seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, all these other things will be added unto you. If you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, what is right in his eyes, all those other things that you want will be added unto you. So when those things are good things, things that that God wanted for your life, when you line it up the right way, when you're seeking his kingdom first, his dream first, his desires first, his wishes first, and his righteousness, what is right in his eyes. All those things that you desired will be added unto you. That's how the kingdom of God works. So if you had it back to front, flip it back to the right way around, which is to seek his kingdom first, his dream, his desire, and then all those other things may be added unto you. Because there's some dreams you may have and desires and wishes that God never intended for you. It was because of influence through watching movies or a sporting event or some kind of a person that you really um, looked up to and you wished what he had. But that's not what God had for you. So there's times where your dreams will not come true because also they are not the dreams that you were meant to walk in. 
you just got distracted and in one sense deceived to thinking this is was your calling but it was never your calling in this way also you will not blame god for your dreams not coming true or the things that you wanted didn't come to pass because your love for him was not conditional to him fulfilling your desires your wishes and for him granting you and serving you like your god and he's your servant that will also change the bad attitude that many christians can have sometimes because they look at god like their genie and when he doesn't fulfill their dreams and wishes and and make their week go well or their boss change or whatever that they wanted and called god to do then they blame god but that will stop happening as well because now you've come into a relationship with god the right way the way that it was intended to happen to fulfill his dreams